Hi! So today I thought I would do a kind of like a book haul video of all the books that I absolutely love reading. So as you probably know from my previous video, I love reading. So I thought I would do sort of like what my favorite books are to kind of like what I don't like reading. I don't know. So yes, I, yeah, I like I said, I absolutely in love, enjoy reading. And I never pay full price for books. <laughs> yeah, I'm like one of those couponers. But no. See, in my city where I live, we have this, like, sort of like a book outlet store where every season they have, like, a box deal where you can literally fill up a box for $30. So I pack them in there and I get, like, 45 books. So I have over 200 in my collection. And yeah. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite books. So to start off, this book is called Something to Prove, and it's by my favorite author, Norma Clintock. And I have almost every single one of her books. I absolutely love it. Now this one is part of the series, The Robin Hunter Mysteries, and um, I, I can't remember how many books. I think there's like seven or eight books in this series. But as you can see, it's not very big. So it's a quick read, and it's really good. They're all like mysteries about murders, and I don't know, I just love the way that Norma Clintock writes. And it's really enjoyable. There's this one, which is the Robin Hunter mystery series, and then there's also the Chloe and Levesque series, and the, the Mike and Real series, as well as other miscellaneous books. So yes, that one is by my favorite author. And yeah, this is like the last in the series, so I was really sad when I got it, because I knew it was going to be the last one that she wrote in this series. But hopefully she comes out with another series soon. And yeah, this out. And then my next favorite one, um, well, this isn't like my favorite book ever. It's it's a really good book. It's called Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. It's really good. I read the sequel in three hours, which is Demon Glass, but this is the original one. And it's about this girl um, who is a witch, basically. And as you can see, this one's a bit thicker, so, I mean, it's not as bad as, like, Twilight or The Host or anything like that, but, I don't know, it was really interesting, and I like how it's about witches and it's about different magical creatures, so I think that is, I don't know, it's it's a twist, kind of. You think of witches as, like, Harry Potter or, I don't know, magical places like, what's it called? Chronicles of Narnia. There we go. The Chronicles of Narnia. So yes, the magical places, kingdoms, kind of like that. But this girl, Sophie Mercer, she gets sent to a kind of like a reformatory school by her dad, who she doesn't even know is like the leader of all magical creatures. And yeah, she finds out later. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you because you have to read it. So yes, but she becomes very powerful and you will find that out once you read this book. And the second one, I don't know, I like the second one better than the first one, but they are both really good books. So... That is kind of like my favorite, and I will do um, my favorite book ever, and this is my third summer, and I'm going to be reading it. I don't own the book, because I haven't found it in any bookstore yet, but it's at my local library, so I'm going to be getting it, and I will give you guys, like, sort of what it's about, and why I love it so much. So now I'm into my girly kind of books, and I thought I'd start off with Gossip Girl. So yes, I got both of these at, I have two... This one's the original, this one's the TV show kind of cover, but they're both the exact same book. So, I love the Gossip Girl series. I love it more than the TV show, but I like the TV show because, I don't know, they show you what they would actually look like and how they kind of act out each character. But I don't know, I really like the books better. I like how they explain the characters and just how they kind of act. They act brattier in the book series, and I absolutely love that. So, yes, I have almost the entire series, but not all of it. Yeah, I also have the first two books of The It Girl by the same author, Cecilia Von Zygeser. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but yeah, I like this series. And then the next book that I chose for my kind of girly themed is Flirting with Boys by Haley Abbott. And she's a really easy read. Like, again, not very thick, but it's, as you can see, it's sort of like a girly kind of chick flick type book. And I don't know. In the back, they show all the other kind of books that she's written. 
and it's really good. I have a couple of them. I think I have four in total of her books because they're really good and I love them. They're like summer reads. Like you want to take them to the beach and go read them. I love that. I also read on my trampoline, which is kind of weird, but I tan on there. So these are great books to read either on the beach or on the trampoline. <coughs> the next... <coughs> mm -mm. Sorry. So the next book that I chose for my girly collection was Lauren Conrad's L.A. Candy. I absolutely love this series. The series was so good. I read this series in, I want to say three days, but not the entire three days. Like, maybe eight hours total. And I, I really like it. Like, just the back. I kind of sell it. And I like the candy on the front. I don't know. It was really good. It was a really easy read. And I read it in, like, February. And they're talking about how they live in L.A. And, I don't know. I, I kind of was absorbed and wrapped into this little society type thing that they have going on. And I was involved with the characters in this book. So then, the last book I chose for my girly section. It's not really part of the series that I like. But my sister has all the rest of the books. So this one is by Lisey Harrison, and this is the second book to the Alphas series, but I love Lisey Harrison. I love her original um, series, The Click. Now, I started reading that a few years back, and I absolutely love it. I fell in love with that series. And this one, I don't know, I like this one, the Alphas series, even better, because it's kind of like a branch off The Click, but it, it's really good. Um, it's about these... The one girl, Sky Hamilton, from the original series, is going off to this um, island type thing where everybody gets voted off, and there's only like a hundred girls, and you're privileged. I don't know. It's kind of a younger read. Like I started reading when I was in grade seven. These books. So I guess if you're not into the younger type of books, then try out some of these ones because these are definitely more up your alley. But yeah, this one's still pretty good. I have yet to read this one because I've been so busy reading all my other books, but my sister said it's pretty good, so, yeah. Now, um, that's all the ones I have for my girly collection, but now I have my sort of dark collection, like vampires and stuff, so I thought I'd start off with, I'm not going to do Twilight because there's so many things on Twilight already, but I thought I'd start off with Night World. Now, this series was really good. It's like sort of a step down from... Twilight, but a step up from a lot of the other ones. Um, it's thick, and as you can see, I had like pen ink on it. It's because I loved it so much, and so did my friends. So I lent it out to like four of my friends, and somebody happened to spill pink ink on it. But yes, it's pretty good. There's three stories a month. So in this one, there is Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, and Spellbinder. And there's two other books, and I'm waiting for the fourth one to come out because it's such a good series, and that's the last one. So there's nine books total so far. There is, yeah, these three, and in the second one, it's Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And in the third one, there is Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. So, yeah, this is what they look like on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. But, yeah, so those ones are really good. And I paid, well, actually, no, I got a gift card, and I used them, a gift card on these books. I got all three at once, so they're really good. And I have her two other books, um... Well, this is by L.J. Smith, so she has a lot of other books. She wrote The Vampire Diaries, which I have that series, except for, like, the first one and the last couple, but I have to get those ones, and I don't know. I have kind of, like, the thicker ones. I have this one, um, Dark Visions, and another one. I can't remember what it's called, though. I don't know. It's, like, a girl. Um, it's, it's a black book again, like this, and it has, like, teal on it with a girl with blonde hair. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't read that one yet, but apparently it's really good, according to my friend, so, yeah, that one's really good. The next one that I thought I would show is Wake. So I got these ones 25% off. <laughs> yeah, but this series is really good. Um, it's about this girl who kind of jumps into people's dreams. And again, easy read. I read this uh, the series in a couple days. It wasn't that bad. The third one's the longest, which I guess you'd find out why once you read it. But if you read it, tell me what you think about it. I thought it was interesting, but at the same time, it was kind of strange. So, yeah, you should read it. Um, the next one I have is The House of Night. The first one from the House of Night series, Marked. And I really... The first one was really good, but after it kind of went downhill. Um, I stopped reading them after Burned. Yeah, I don't know. That one was really boring. Like, I love books with lots of like speaking parts, like the narrative. I don't like narrative parts. Of parts. Well, but yeah, this one was good, I guess. I don't know lots of words, I guess. The 
the writing isn't even that bad in this one. I don't know, it was just kind of boring. It started to get kind of cliche, like all like the Twilight books, and I don't know. It's interesting, though. Yeah. Apparently the last one, Awakened, is really good. I have yet to read it, and I don't think I will read it. But yeah, that one. And then the last book, well, one of the last ones I have is Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. Again, this one's sort of like, like the alpha ones that I have. It's, it's a younger read, but it's about this girl who's a spy, and her name is Cammy, short form for Chameleon, which is her nickname. But yeah, it's pretty good. She's, like I said, she's a spy, and she gets to travel all over the world. And this isn't the first book in the series. This is the second one. The first one is I Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You, and I don't have that one. I have this one and the next two books in the series. And the, the other ones, uh, they're on my shelf right over there. But I can't read that because I'm wearing glasses. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one's really good. Allie Carter is really good. I read her other book, High Society, and that one was kind of interesting. It was about, like, stealing artwork and doing all that and running around the world. And I don't know. That one was kind of interesting. I read that before I read Hex Hall, so I was kind of prepared for this one. But, but yeah, these books are really good as well. So, yeah. And then the last one that I have to show you guys today is Privilege. Now, this one has the TV show cover. And I got this one for... Um, I got this recently, that's why it's in pristine condition, and, um, I don't know, I don't like it. I read, like, the first 20 pages, and I'm kind of bored. I, I don't know how they made a TV series off of it. Does it still air? I don't know, I've never seen it before. I saw the trailer, I looked it up before I started reading this book. I don't know, it looked kind of interesting. Lucy Hale's in it, and she's in Pretty Little Liars now. That series was really good, but this book isn't. I don't know, there's not a lot of speaking roles, and I guess... I don't empathize, kind of, with the, the main girl. What's her name? Megan Smith? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really empathize with her. Her life sucks. <laughs> Mine doesn't, so I apologize if you don't feel that way, but I don't know. I got to the part where she was evacuated, kind of, from her apartment because there's a fire, and I guess, I don't know, she's, like, talking about her sister and how her sister's better off, she's a model, she does all of this, and she's on Broadway, and how her life is so much better, and she hates her sister because of that, well, if my sister was like that, I wouldn't hate her, like, yeah, she'd be leaving, sort of, my dream, <laughs> but I wouldn't hate her, so, yeah, I don't know, tell me what you think, is it good, is it TV series good, is it even a TV series, or is it, like, a movie, I don't know, Okay, awesome. So, I don't know, leave in the comments below books that I should read, and maybe I have read them. I don't know, I read books a lot. Like, my library card has been scanned so many times, I memorized the number, like the serial number for it. I could probably spit it off at any moment, and know my password, and I just go online from, like, my iPod Touch to the computer, type in my password, and then my, my little barcode, and I put books on hold, and I read them. And I think the most books I've ever gotten from a library once was 35 books. And I only had, like, two weeks, three weeks to read them. So I didn't get through all of them. I got through, like, 20 of them because it was Christmas break. So I didn't get through a whole lot of them. But some of them are really good. Some of them, eh, not really. And I tend to skip read. <laughs> I know, it sounds pretty bad. So, I don't know. Here, let me show you an example. Okay. So you see how here there's like all like narrative and there's like no speaking. Sometimes I'll just kind of skip over that because it's not really important. I mean, unless there's a really important part, then I'll kind of go back and read it. But if it's just kind of saying like, yeah, he said, or I told him exactly everything, or I don't know, something around those lines, then I tend to just skip it because it's boring and I don't want to spend forever reading a book. But yeah, there are some books that I do read that I absolutely love. I read it word for word, everything, and I absolutely adore it. And I will do a stellar awesome book review on my favorite of all time, like my all-time favorite book. And I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, because you're going to have to watch, but it's really good. I promise you, you're going to have to pick it up. And if you don't like this kind of book, then, well, too bad, it's my favorite, but yes. 
So, I will try to post another video soon, and I think I'm going to do TV shows. Or movies. I don't know. Either or. Or I'll do a vlog. I don't know. Okay, see you next time. Bye!